What is up legends? I am finally done with the CMP 100 210 mod. It's a simple little mod, but it's pretty effective on cooling these cards. So let's get into it and show you what it's all about. First of all, you want to make sure it's put on a case just like this. You want to have these cards butted up to the edge of the case. So air is brought directly in through the case and right to the card. Um, you also want to make sure you close off any unnecessary ventilation because the only thing you're trying to do is cool these cards. And as you can see here, you've got airflow going directly through the fins of the cards and it's being exhausted out the back. Now in this other picture here, you don't want this type of setup. You don't want to have fans in between the card and the card, the bracket, because air, a lot of the air is gonna be wasted and it's gonna go around the card and not into the card and through the fins. So that's a very key important thing you need to know that it's not meant for cases like this. All right, now let's get into some testing. On Kapow, we're running at about 1230 watts. Core temperature is at about 71 to 72, and memory is at about 80 to 84. These cards are extremely hot and hard to cool, but with this Shroud mod, you can see temperatures are significantly decreased. We're looking at about 59 core, 71, memory running compile at about 1230 1250 watts all right let's get into a quick install video here you're gonna have one shroud you're gonna have two screws that come with the shroud and you're gonna want to take that shroud and tuck it up and under the pcie bracket there's a little bit of a lip there that it can fit under and you're just gonna to want to push this thing down there's a little bit of resistance on it as you can see here but that's just the foam rubber padding that's on the heat sink itself. So this is actually a good thing because it's kind of creating a better seal. Um, and you can see here, pushing it down, uh, butts up right to the card. Again, this is a 3D printed shroud, but um, the melting point of the shroud is much higher than this card can get. Um, and you're just gonna install these screws here, which are kind of uh, pressure fitted. There's no holes in the shroud for them to go into. So once you push the shroud down into place and screw them in, that's pretty much it. They'll pretty much stay there. Um, and here's kind of a look of the card after the install. Again, you wanna make sure these cards are installed in the right case. As you can see from the picture here, you want the case to be able to have the GPU to butt up against the outer side of the case so the air flows directly in. And as you can see on this picture here, this is what you do not want. You do not want any space or an extra fan because you're not gonna get that air pressure going directly through the fins of the card. Well, that's about it. That's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love a like, uh, maybe a subscribe. Really trying to get some more content out here. This is my first long video I've done in a while um, and I'm gonna keep them coming. And if you discovered this video not purchasing my mod, uh, it is available on eBay. Uh, link will be down in the description below. I'm still trying to get uh, verified on YouTube to where I can have clickable links. Uh, so just make sure you look down there. You might have to cut and paste to get to my eBay store, um, but hopefully soon I'll have actual clickable links to where you can just click on it and go to my store. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.